Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This time we're discussing Diablo 4 Season 4, big base game changes to mechanics and systems and endgame and all that crap. So, my initial impression of the campfire and other content creators' reactions, um, I'm looking very much forward to this. And however, my biggest um, hesitation will be if the screen reader and the accessibility presented in the game currently will work with the PTR for those of the blind players who are going to try the PTR and you know, offer feedback and testing and I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll work fine once the full patch comes out and everything but um, I'm just a little curious to see if the PTR will have the accessibility implemented uh, properly um, right now I'm in the middle of a dungeon the halls of the dam trying to get my disobedience uh, power just I was nearby so I figured I'd do it um, but generally, the way things are progressing, where with the master works, the greater aspects, or affixes, whatever it's called, um, the tempering, like those mechanics alone are just incredible to think about. Like we actually have more refined control over our gear being better, uh, instead of just basic upgrade, basic upgrade. Um, and it does give you a bit of a loot high or loot chase of like, oh shit, you know, this item is a greater aspect or whatever. Um, and of course, if you like get a uh, you can turn a really bad item into a great mm -hmm. weapon, or a really great weapon into an even better weapon. So things like that. So like, just there's more uh, reason to like care about your item and stats. Um, the the fact that they're re they're taking out a lot of the boring aspects is really nice. Come on now. There we go. Um, anyway, they're taking a lot of the boring stuff out, which is nice. Um, apparently, your main stat is the only thing that can appear to their main stat or all stat, which is fine, I guess. Um, I did appreciate, honestly, having like dexterity and whatever your non main stat on certain of your items because it, it get, you know, the other stats give you stuff like on rows gives you resist all on crit chance, right? So like, does that mean that we can't, we can't like boost up you know, like exterior, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how it plays out, but um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm curious to see what the community's feedback is mean, right? Every content creator I've listened to has said it looks positive, it looks great, it looks really good, right? Um, it, it's unfortunate it took this long to get to this point. However, I'd rather have it at some point and not have it at all, right? Or then not have it at all. Um, I left that legendary there because it's a marker. I'm using it as a marker. Um, Four, one and the artificers pit pretty much being greater rifts again. I don't mind. I love greater rifts. Greater rifts are really addicting, really fun, really easy to do. No complication, no objectives. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Plus, you actually have an incentive to do good and greater rifts because you get more Mastercraft rewards or Mastercraft materials, plus the Uber Elite boss summoning stuff, plus the you know, just the natural loot. Like, it's just there's a lot more incentive to play these this version of GRs than there was in Diablo 3. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm I'm really hoping that the aspects being removed and added to gear and items and stuff and your tempering and all these things will hopefully lead to roles being defined uh devil three you had a greater rift killer you had a trash clear you had the support guy you had the ZT, you had the healing guy like there was a clearly defined role for everybody uh for the most part and i just miss having that coordination right and Diablo you know, four is a fun game don't get me wrong it's very fun very accessible but there's something to me, there's some magic lost where everybody does everything to an extent. Um, nobody. And then again, I haven't researched that much, so maybe there are. Um, I did find some support druid builds early on where basically they poison the whole screen, applying crowd control or uh, slow effects and poison. And so that there's, there's some things, but 
um, not a lot, and I, that's one of the things I really miss. Um, so aside from the pit, the crafting, oh, the simplification or streamlining of your crafting in general, um, things like Forgotten Souls dropping, I have a chance to drop anywhere, Elite Kills, Whispers, uh, that is a huge thing because as it is, I don't know a consistent way to find Forgotten Souls as a blind player, so I have no Forgotten Souls, which is a pain, um, really, unfortunately, but, um, Helltide is essentially becoming blood, blood harvest zones, I don't mind, because it just makes it more efficient, uh, for everybody involved, not just the blunt players, um, con consolidating herbs and crafting mats to make it easier to, like, craft your potions and elixirs and upgrades and whatever and resources, that's all really nice, um, incidental accessibility, um, essentially you streamline it, it makes it more accessible because it's less tedious for a blind player to try and deal with it, right, uh, which I don't mind, the, there was one concern I, I heard, uh, what was his name, Lama, Mr. Lama, I think, brought up the idea of, if we're removing all these affixes and sats from gear, then all you're looking for is main stat, again, just main stat, just like D3, so, just simplifying the stats, which, he's not wrong, um, we'll just have to, to, to see how it plays out, to be honest, um, which again, I, I think is a little unfortunate, because I do appreciate having, everyone has, like, a bit of different, like, you can actually, I need more intelligence on a rogue, because I want more crit chance and resist all, you know, um, trying to think what else, oh, the big one that I'm actually looking very, very much forward to is trading, trading is something that I have never experienced in our any RPG before because all I've ever played was Diablo 3 and Diablo 4. I tried Path of Exile. It gave, the game was not accessible enough. There's a portal right above me. Is this the same portal? Hold it might be the same portal. Um... Still requires a chart to use. <sighs> Whatever, try going down here. Um, anyway, the trading. So you can actually trade everything except one uniques. And you, as long as you have not crafted or done anything to the weapon or item, you can trade it. Um, to me, it's a big deal because now it's um, when you're playing with people, now it feels more like you're like, hey, I found such and such item. Uh, with these stats, do you need that? Because I don't. You know, things like that. Or it's like, hey, that item looks really good. Let's re-roll it, and then I'll send it over to you after we roll this item. Uh, or no, sorry, you can't do that. That's uh, crafting. Whoops. Um, but, yeah, like, it, you know, like... I, th I think uh, the opening up of trading is going to be a big thing, and it's going to be a lot more a lot more fun, right, obviously. Um especially with the legendaries and uniques, right? Say your buddy is looking for a, what's it, Tempest of War for Druid. It's like Medden, you know, you get Tempest of War on, like, Ultra 2. You get, like, level 20. It's, like, it's not a great one, but it's a starter one. So, like, there you go. You get Tempest of War level 20. Or 30, 40, whatever it is. Uh, I think, well, really, I think, I think that those ones will drop at 55. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about the big season 14? I personally am extremely excited um, they're basically copying Last Epoch's homework and Diablo 3's homework and putting it into Diablo 4, which I don't, I have no real problem with because I like D3 a lot, um, but it's basically just a more accessible D3 plus Last Epoch, and then Diablo 4 has its own, like, little things inside of it as well, so I'm definitely excited about it, uh, let me know what you guys think, talk to you guys next time, and yeah, that's about it, goodbye.